Now, just like Icarus, we could be flying a little bit too close to the sun. We're fighting on all three fronts, the Serie A, we are currently top, Europa League, round of 16 today, and we're also in the semi-final of the Coppa Italia Fanta. Let me get you up to date with what we've got going on, and hopefully we can progress into the next round of the Europa League. Hit the intro. So we're going to focus on the Serie A first of all. We are currently top, five points ahead of the chasing pack in Fiorentina, Roma and Juventus. One game in hand as well, which will be very crucial for us. That is against Fresinone. 19 wins, 4 draws, 3 losses, plus 33 goal difference. We're doing very well. Overachieving potentially, but I think we've built a squad good enough to at least get Champions League football in Serie A. And if other teams, if they fail, then why not? Why not go for the win? In terms of stats of players so far, Evan Ferguson has got 14 goals in the Serie A, joint second, well, kind of joint first actually with Dujan Vlahalovic and Rafael Liao. Average rating, none of our players are in there, but in assists, Gabriel Vidovic has seven for the league so far. Evan Ferguson, five power of the matches, tops the charts with that. And Salvatore Esposito, I know he's left us now, but he's still currently second in the yellow cards, kind of the naughty three in the Serie A. And if we kind of look at the, the schedule since we were last here, obviously we lost to West Ham in our last game, but if we have a look at the Serie A since we were last here, well, there's only been one game, really. Has it been one game? No. We lost to Fiorentina, we lost to those 2-1. Infantino, the player that we were kind of coveting all of the summer and last summer as well. Maybe we should sign him just to stop him from scoring against us. He himself and Mbala and Zola off the mark for Fiorentina. We actually took the lead in the fourth minute, so a little bit of a disappointing collapse there. However, we did bounce back. 2-1 win over Palermo, Baldanzi, Anacoli scoring for ourselves with Matteo Brunori. Getting a goal for Palermo. To be fair, there's a few draws here that would have preferred to have been wins, obviously to make our position a little bit stronger at the top of the table. Salernitana, we conceded in the 95th minute, not happy about this, but Caleb Okoli getting his second goal in as many games with this one. On to Brescia, a 3-2 victory over them. Kefren Turam getting his first goal for the club. If we go through, go through the goals for this one, we kind of lost the lead early on to Bianchi, who's a former Genoa player, so Robbing the salt in the wounds there, but we came back quite quite confidently as well. 3-1 before Brescia got their last kind of consolation goal there. But Morstead, our own player, getting a fantastic assist over the top to Bianchi, who you don't really want to be one-on-one -on, -one on the halfway line with your last centre-back. But we did pull one back. Casavenda giving it back to Soppi. He finds Chiram at the end of the box. And nice, calm finish for his first goal for the club. And since we got the first, the players, they pushed on. Casavienda, lovely ball through to Ferguson. Quite fortunate this one, he bounces back off. I mean, not sure what Lazzarini was doing there, but Ferguson, does he chip it over him? I'm not fully sure, but it's not how they go in. That matters really. And Soppy, picking up on a loose pass. Ferguson, find Casavienda on the right hand side. One, sorry, left hand side, wonderful goal across field. 3-1 into half-time, but then in the 80th minute, we conceded a header. Yeah, we're not going to complain too much about that. And then lastly, we faced Udinese. Evan Ferguson getting two goals in this. It was a 2-2 draw. Nothing special, really. But even though we are kind of five points ahead, if we look at our last kind of 10 games or 12 games of the season, we've still got Napoli, Roma, Inter, AC Milan and Juventus all to play five huge games but talking of huge games the game we're here for today the round of 16 against FC Twente let's get into it and the team that's going to face FC Twente in the first leg we are away from home Konosechi, Sofi, Akoli, Zabani and Gallo Fabian and Sharam in the middle Fafundi, Baldanzi and Vidovic across the front three with Ferguson as our main striker. Baldanzi has just signed a new four-year deal with the club. 
he wanted an upgrade on his wages. Bit annoying that we have kind of doored his wages here, but yeah, he's he's worth every bit of every bit of the wages that he brings in. He's a good contributor to the team. Seven goals, four assists, three player of the matches in 22 Serie A games. So quite happy to give him what he kind of deserves here. Bidovic, on the other hand, is another player that is looking for a new contract. We've kind of annoyed his agent a little bit, so yeah, we're at a bit of a standoff when it comes to discussing new terms there. However, I'm sure in a in a couple of weeks' time, he'll be willing to speak to us yet again. And we're kind of matching up by the looks of it with SA20, 5-4, 5-2-3-1, oh, five, five, with the wingers. Obviously, we've got the deeper line, Giovanni Fabian, to kind of break up any any threat that their attacking midfielder could potentially cause for us. But the game has started. We're going to demand more. I'm a little, a little apprehensive about this game, if we're being honest. We're a bit of an unknown quantity, FC20. And I just hope that our players have enough about them to get us through this one. I'll be happy with a, a simple draw. I'll be happy with a highlight at this point. 27 minutes gone. Nothing has happened just yet. 32 minutes has gone. I mean, finally we get a highlight, and it is a start in it, but, you know, that doesn't always mean anything. Zabanyi into Fabian. Over the top to Perfundi. I mean, Ferguson's in the middle there. He's making a darting run. He's currently on side. Perfundi, though, not sure what he's doing. Gives it back to Fabian. Loses out to Riga. Taha. I mean, Sophie's come a long way to cover his man here, and there's a big, big gap at the left-back position. Or the right back position, I should say. Cajolo into Ugalde. Oh, Kernasecchi. That's very poor goalkeeping. He dove way too early there. Manfred Ugalde, top goal scorer so far for FC20 this season. And they put us to the sword there. Very disappointing. I hope we don't get another game similar to the West Ham one. But I think the main problem there was Soppy. He came way too out of position. It meant that Akoli had to move across to the right hand side. Not what you want to see in the round of 16, and we have a big team talk coming up now. But you know, one one highlight in the half, it's a bit football manager -y, isn't it? If we're going to be honest, right into the dressing room, fresh our arms, sort it out. I mean, Perfundi is on a 6.5, Vidovic is on a 6.3. Yeah, it's a lot to kind of make up here. Armandiello is on a 6.3 as well, very poor indeed. We're going to break the team. And you know what? Nothing's happened in the first 10 minutes. Let's make some changes. So Bastoni's going to come in at left back. Baldanzi, I mean, not really having a great game, are we? Even Perfundi as well is not having a good game. So Casavenda's going to come in. Vidovic on a 6.2. That is horrifically bad. Newton Boom's going to come in. Ferguson on a 6.5. We'll keep you on. I mean, Kefren Sharam, 6.8. But the fitness isn't kind of there. You know what, Soppy for Terracciano. We'll go with those four. We'll save one in the back pocket as well. And you know what, let's go attacking as well. I know it's only 1-0, but I feel like we need something from this game. Because we don't want to... We don't hope to get a convincing win at home. And to be honest, just a highlight in our favour would be fantastic. I haven't seen a single shot so far from our own team. Baldanzi, he hits it wide to Newton Boom, but Samstead wins the header. I mean, Churam and Baldanzi, you know what? Baldanzi will bring you off for Samardic. That's Bastoni all the way back to Sabani. We've got plenty of players forward here. We just need to find the right pass. Sabani finds Fabian in the middle to Churam. That's a poor ball. I mean, Terracciano has pushed himself up there. Maybe it's because we are going as an attacking mentality, but Akoli. Don't dawdle on the ball, mate. Gives it to Zabanyi. Back to Terracciano. I mean, we may drop it down onto positive again. Just not to be too caught out here. Spread wide. You know what, Terracciano? You're going to be a no-nonsense fullback. Same with Bastoni. No-nonsense fullback on defend. Sharam with the ball. Lovely to Newton. Boom. Ferguson in the middle. We've got one back. That's exactly what we needed. Fantastic goal, 19th of the season for Evan Ferguson. What a fantastic signing he has been. He's picked up the boots that Retagui left. And 
not sure if we do deserve kind of this goal here. We've only had like, one highlight and it was this one. But Newton Boom made an impact across to Ferguson. Fantastic finish there. Poacher's finish. And you know what, looking at the stats, maybe we do deserve something from this game, but we are going to demand more for the last five minutes. I mean, it hasn't been a classic by any means, but Newton Boom over the ball, a Coley at the back post, and it's just gone over the bar. Time for one last highlight. Unastal. I mean, 20 have committed players forward. They've got four up front here. A Coley should win that, but he has headed it back to Taha. A lot of pressure there from Churam and from Fabian. Roths. Bastoni wins the ball. Lovely stuff. It did look like a dive. I thought that was a very good challenge. Is that the highlight? I mean, the highlight's going to come here. Samstead. I mean, we could be a little bit exposed at the back here. On some time wasting. Dark arts are currently underway. Samstead. You know what, we're going to take it back onto positive. I mean, weird highlight. You would have thought that they wanted to go. That was such a pointless highlight, that was. But nonetheless, 1-1 one, one it's finished. Ferguson and Newton Boom combining, as they have done for the majority of this season. You know what, crash your arms. It was a poor performance other than those goal. Well, other than that goal from Ferguson. Not what we want to see. Looking at the other... Results elsewhere. Gladbach and Freiburg, they drew 0-0. Lille have beaten the Gretz 3-1. West Ham have beat Slavia Prague 3-2. Is that Daniel Filler? It is Daniel Filler. Not one for us. Young Boys have beaten Celtic. A. Cappins and FC Colm have drawn 2-2. David Selke. David Selke. Aston Villa have beaten Antwerp 2-1. Obviously, we drew with FC 20 and a Napoli. I've comfortably dispatched a Villarreal 3-0. Right, it's time to come back for the second leg. We are at home. It is a bit of a fortress. Can we scrape through? I really hope it's a convincing win. Now, I was hoping to have an update on the game against Napoli. However, a few times this season already, which is why we have the one game in hand with Frizzanone. The Luigi Farris Stadium seems to always be waterlogged. I'm hoping it's something that we can speak to the club about. Hopefully the, the lovely owners can bring in some money to give us a new pitch. You know, not be a tad unrealistic, but that's kind of what we're hoping for. The team for the second leg, however, against FC20. Kernesecchi, Soppi, Akoli. Capola's gonna come in. He's been a, very much of a bit part player. Still got the potential ability of a four-star player here, so it's probably time to, to start playing Diego Capola. Just at least some rotation around. Gallo at left back. Mandela Keita. We have still got the £1.2 million kind of optional fee to sign him in with. Not sure whether we will kind of activate that, especially with um, Cesar Casadier coming in. I want to get a good Italian spine to the team. Kefran Turam. Is Italian nationality as well. Didn't realise this guy's six foot four was an absolute unit. Spirited and apparently is unflappable. That's exactly what you want from your players. Vidovic is going to start out on the right. Baldanzi and Newton Boom, especially after coming off the bench and getting that assist. He definitely deserves the space. With Ferguson up front as well. Just hoping there's a lot more in this game than in the previous one because. It was a bit of a, a bore draw, even though it was a yeah, it was a one-one. It was it wasn't good for the neutrals. So hopefully we can we can make the most of this one here. Come out swinging and get a good good victory of FC Twenty. And we have got the first highlight. Ninety seconds in, Bidovic with the corner is going to whip it in middle post. Churam's going to win the header back, however, from outside the box into Bidovic, back to Churam. Take the shot, lad, while you're there. Take the shot. Has gone just over the bar. Not a bad start. 90 seconds in. We've made it known that we are here to win. And let's face it, uh, Luigi Farris, when it's not waterlogged, is a bit of a fortress. The waterlog is just when the moat overflows. But Capola now into Gallo. 
They haven't kind of set up the way that they did at home, which is understandable. They're probably looking to get us on the counter attack as Newton Boom hits it long into Ferguson as he chipped him. What a goal! Go on, Ferguson! Fantastic stuff. 20th of the season for Evan Ferguson. I mean, he's doing things that Retagui was doing. And you know what? I'm here for the ride. 1 0 straight away. Newton Boom, just like in the last game, an assist. Ferguson, that was a cheeky chip. Fantastic goal. Ferguson, 20th of the season. Apparently, there's a tight offside. I mean, no idea. It's not VAR in the Prem. This is proper VAR. And we have gone 1 0 up against FC Twente, but I'm not. Not content with that. Let's get stuck in. Let's get more goals here. Let's make it up for the last game that we did play. Vidovic gives it back to Churam. Cater on the outside of the box. Runs in. 2 0. That's what we won. 15 minutes gone. Mandela Cater. Now, I was just saying about not signing him. Did he overhear me in the press conference? I'm not fully sure. Lovely, lovely goal. Vidovic and Churam combining nicely. And it's a good run here from Cater. A lot of space into the box, outside of his boot. Lovely finish. Keep that up, lad. And we'll turn it into a permanent while you're here. And I can kind of relax, I think, now. We are 2-0 up. Soppy. Can we can we get more goals here? Baldanzi tries to cut it in. Eating, but lose it out to Baldanzi. Newton Boom to Cater to Soppy. What's he gonna do? Back post to Vidovic has headed just wide of the post. <sighs> so when we went from having no highlights in pretty much the whole game of the last game, too many highlights to count. So far, we are 2-0 up. Lovely to see. Brene gives it back to Hakmat. 18 to Brene. Cajolo on the right hand side. Good press by Sopi there. Hopefully he can stick tight to him. Just like that, fantastic tackle. Baldanzi over the top to Ferguson. Got one chip in the first half. Doesn't need the chip there. Calm as you like, 3-0, 21st of the season. I think I can sit back and relax now. Lovely stuff, 4-1 on aggregate. Yeah, I knew as long as we didn't kind of throw the game away in 20, we had a fighting chance at home and 3-0, it's only 30 minutes. At this rate, it will be a 9-0 game if we get a goal every 10 minutes. Maybe I've jinxed it, maybe there's no more goals. As Samstead throws it in to Ha, closed down by Cater. Samstead closed down now by Shuram. Ferguson wins the ball. Gallo, Baldanzi, I want more goals here. I absolutely want more goals here. Baldanzi releases Gallo on the left-hand side. What have we got? Shuram. Back to Gallo, Newton Boom's in the middle. Back post to Vidovic, oh, off the post. I mean, we are going for a fourth, and I love to see it from the team. A couple of changes that we can make, coming into half-time, Capolo and Charam. I don't like bookings. Baldanzi, back post to Akoli, talking of the post, has headed it off the post. Lovely stuff, absolutely lovely stuff. We may as well, we'll give them a nice team talk now. To repay the faith. That they have shown in us 14 shots in the first half. You know, outstretch arms. Far, well, not far from happy. I'm far from not happy. Charam and Capolo, we're going to bring them both off for this. Capolo for Papetti, bring him in. Charam for, you know what, we'll give Elmas a run around as well. Ferguson with two goals, we're not going to take him off. And, you know, Bidovic on a 6.8. I'm sure he can do more going forward, but a very, very comfortable, very short performance so far. As Cater and Soppy play a simple one two, Vidovic on the right, back to Soppy. A Coley now. I mean, we've got four players against their back line. It's what you want to see. Soppy over the top. I mean, Unastal and Vidovic both competing for that. Vidovic seems to pull up a little bit. He wasn't interested in going for it as Ugaldi. You know what, he just leaves that ball as well. Bit very scrappy start to this half. Soppy to Akoli, Keita, back to Soppy, Vidovic over the top to Ferguson, but Bruns heads it clear. Rene, Hakmat. 
I mean, are we on are we on key highlights? We are apparently on key highlights, but I'm not sure what this highlight is meant to be portraying. Papetti into Elmas. Cater to Newton Boom. Lovely ball to Ferguson. Is this his hat trick? No. Has been sky just over the bar. Lovely stuff. It is that's a long highlight for nothing to happen. But if we kind of look at our stats here, 17 shots, 7 on target, 2 XG, 6 off target, 3 clear cut chances, 6% possession, absolute domination by our team here. Bit of itch on a 6.5, Cater's on a booking as well. Let's make a couple of subs here. Cater, we're going to bring you off for Fabian. Bit of itch, 6.5, not happy with that. We're going to bring Perfundi on. And we got one more sub to make. And unless Sevens Ferguson gets his hat trick, Pellegri will be coming onto the pitch. As well, Danzi finds Newton Boom. Newton Boom out to Vidovic. Vidovic overlapping Gallo. I mean, look how many players we've got forward here. Elmas. Would he play it across? What are you doing, Elmas? Is that a penalty? Not sure what's going on. Ugalde to Taha. I mean, we have gone for it. We have left ourselves exposed at the back here. Danny Rotz. Eating Riga, gone from distance. <laughs> no idea what that was. Anyway, moving on. 20 minutes to go. I mean, I don't see them coming back into this at all. Baldanzi on the book in. You know what? We'll bring him off. Or, or you know what? Bungard. We'll give. We'll just throw anyone on. We'll throw Bungard on for the last 10 minutes. Stajan, back to Samstead. I definitely jinxed it, didn't I? I jinxed it by saying we'll get a goal every 10 minutes, it'll be 9-0, and it just hasn't worked here. Bruns to Rots, over the top, Stajan is going to chase it down, but Gallo's there as well. Perpetti to Kernacecchi, I mean what kind of highlight is this going to be? Ferguson heads it back to Fabian, Perfundi, Fabian, out wide to Soppy, this is nice play, it's nice play, Perfundi, Loads of players waiting. Ferguson with his hat trick. What a fantastic performance that is. There's no point in celebrating it. It's game, set, and match. If that was the last minute, I'd have been going crazy. But lovely play. Soppy into Perfundi. Look at that. We've got four players waiting. Across the box into Ferguson. A lovely tap in. What a resounding victory that is. And there we go. Lovely, lovely stuff. You know what, we'll, we'll make it more than that. If we look at the stats, I think we have 29 shots there. The teams to go through currently, Aston Villa, 5 to aggregate winners, FC Colne, 6-5 winners. We played Colne in the group stage, I don't know if we'd actually be able to get them again. Napoli have beaten Villarreal as well. Well, that was very comfortable, wasn't it? 4-0, lovely stuff. We got 1 million for that. Ferguson impresses. He definitely has impressed. We'll let the uh, the assistant go and speak on behalf of the club. So West Ham have gone through on penalties. Lille have gone through against Ludogorets. Freiburg have gone through against Gladbach. Now, if we look in here, like I wouldn't mind... That was going to sound so wrong. <laughs> Young boys would be the obvious team for us to face. I mean, West Ham, they beat us in the group stage. It would be nice to get some kind of big uh, revenge against them. But for now, when have we got... When have we got the... You know, it's not shown it there. As a sneak peek, we'll come back for the draw for the next round. I'll see you there. Now, some slightly concerning news. We've just lost 4-1 to Roma. A hat-trick for Paolo Dybala and Soppy was sent off in the 63rd minute. And normally enough, we scored a fantastic goal with Newton Boom on the 11th minute. And it means that even though, yes, we have got two games in hand, one game in hand over Fiorentina, we're now only two points, two points ahead. It's going to go down to the wire, this one. Right, we're coming to the last two minutes now against Fresnone. Six minutes of any time. 
far. We've got a vital win if we can hold on, and we have held on. This was one of our games in hand. We've just conceded like four minutes before the end of the 90. Not a good result. Well, obviously it's a fantastic result. Not a good, not a good performance. You know what? We need to keep it going though. That's done so much help for us. We're now two points ahead off Fiorentina with a game in hand. If we win that, we go five, five clear, which is pretty much like a two goal swing if you look at it that way. A lot to go. I'm, a I'm hoping now that we have got the quarter final leg draw, I should say, for the Europa League. But a mixed bag of games today. But this episode just keeps on giving. We've been given our new intake of youth players. So our excellent youth intake has gone down now to a four star youth intake. The elite talent is Giovanni Belletti, 15 years of age. To be fair, this guy. I know he's only 15, but he's got a lot of 10s in places that you'd want 10s to be. Loads of 8s, loads of 9s, which is pretty good. His determination's a 10, which isn't great. But he's coming in as a promising midfielder. You know, it's very disappointing that he's kind of the best of the crop that we have. And the second best player is Gianluca Colombo. Again, goalkeeper. I hate this. I hate jumping reach as a goalkeeper. 5 foot 10. He's got no strength. Yeah, it's a excellent youth intake. Is a bit of a myth. Maybe Belletti, something can happen with him. But yeah, it's not a great one. And finally, here we are. Quarter final leg. Draw for the Europa League. I mean, everyone's in there now. Eight teams left. We're in the final eight. We made it here last time. And we lost to Lazio. Let's see what we got. I'd be happy with Freiburg, but Lille have got them. I mean, who are we trying to avoid here? Probably Aston Villa, if we're being honest. And it's going to be either Colm, Napoli or Villa. Please be Colm. We have got FC Colm. We've beat them already this season, so that's nice to see. And getting rid of a big team of Aston Villa or Napoli in this round is going to be beneficial for us. For when we go into the semi-finals now. Semi-finals, what have we got? It's going to be Freiburg and Lille versus Young Boys or West Ham. So if we are going to progress into the final, we need to face either Napoli or Aston Villa. Should be a good one. But if you haven't already, hit the like button and subscribe. Subscribe more than anything if you can. I'm trying to get at least 100 followers before the end of the year. I think we're about 10 away at the minute, so everything is muchly appreciated. But if you've enjoyed yourself, let me know down below. I'm enjoying this series, I'm enjoying this game save, and I'll see you on the next one in the quarterfinals when we face FC Cole. Goodbye. Yeah.